Right, we're ready to go. I'm lined up at our drawson, just getting ready to start the car. Um, about to board MV Alfred. There's the man loading. I've not been on this ferry before. We've only had it for about a week and a half. Um, it's a catamaran that we've borrowed from Pentland Ferries up in Orkney. And it's on the run to help out with MV Caledonian Isles because we don't have MV Isle of Arran just now, which we normally would have at the moment. And that um, capacity is missing on the route between Brodick and Adrosten at the moment. So we have real problems um, with uh, the amount of traffic trying to trying to come to Arran and we just don't have enough space on the MV Calador and Isles. The, the demand is so great now. Um, so at least like everyone's getting ready to go on. I better start my engine. There's a van away. And we'll see what happens. Um, I've loaded quite a few of these um, departures from Brodick because I work for Calmac Ferries at uh, Brodick and uh, I work in the car park in the office. And um, it's very simple, you know, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, you have to, you know, there's only one door, which is correct. You have to go on and turn round um, and the worry about reversing on the ferry um, and difficult manoeuvres. It's only commercial vehicles and big vehicles that, that have to reverse on and you do that at Brodick um, because it's a straight run onto the ramp. Um, here, um, they just drive straight on and also small vehicles just drive straight on at both sides um, and it's like a big roundabout on the ferry it's it's got the same capacity as MV Caldor and Isles for cars 97 is the official figure for cars um, and it's like a dual carriageway going round the body of the of the vessel go up the left round the top of the right and then you you offload uh, you just fire the cars round to offload them on the other side once you you berth at Brodick so we're going to see that now anyway because He's about to send us on. Once that one's on in the right there. Okay. That's funny. I've seen it loaded so many times and I still wonder what I'm in for. But I've seen it, you know. <laughs> it's the unknown. Anyway, that's the reason I'm filming this, to take the unknown out of it. Oh, there's a bit of a pothole here, so that's something to watch out for if you're coming on. When you get to that gate, watch out for a couple of potholes, one very big one. Right. It's in the Irish berth, this uh, vessel. So, we're going round, we've gone, turned right from the normal berth, MV Caledon Isles is that. Um, and we're going on to the other one, the other main berth here. Just wait a wee sec to get on. Um, but yes, yeah, so, um, so it's a fear of the unknown. So I've heard some people worrying about this and, you know, having to reverse in the door and things like that. But as you can see, these cars are driving straight down. We're going to turn left here and drive straight in. And I'm looking forward to it. It hasn't got any catering facilities on the ferry just now. And that's fine. It's a skeleton crew. Um, as anybody in Aaron knows, the main thing is just to have a, a vessel that can take uh, people and vehicles to the mainland and back. And uh, this one did it. In fact, it did it in the fog when MV Caldron Isles was off. Um, so it's done well. Here we go. Um, we'll survive 55 minutes without something to eat. And to be honest, I always bring tea and sandwiches and everything with me, so I'm I'm not going to have a problem in that regard. Uh, here we car up, come up to the loading officer. I've spoken to him many times at Brodick. What a friendly fellow he is. Um, and his sidekick, which I can't remember his name, but anyway, they're such affable blokes. All right. <laughs> Just coming to check on you. <laughs> Doing well. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of mess with you, right? I'll put the window back down. Uh, back up, brother. So this is this kind of dual carriageway thing I was talking about. And I've not been here before. I've seen the cars coming around, but I've not. I've not actually done this. This is three metres high, this part. 
The, what, the part in the centre is much higher, and obviously it's an open deck there, so you can take lorries, and that's why they go in the middle. But everybody else does this burl around, uh, to use the Scottish phrase, um, and just comes round the corner here. <laughs> Thank you. And they just look like they're using one line here today, but anyway, it's not too busy. And now I'm facing back towards the door. Um, so this should be reassuring for anybody who's worried about any tricky manoeuvres. This is very easy indeed. No mess deck. Lovely jubbly. Done and dusted. Handbrake on. In position. Turn the camera back round to myself. Am I looking flustered? I don't think so. And by the way, there's my tea. And if anybody ends, ends up seeing me loading the boats in Brodick, they'll find that I've usually got that kicking about my hand or on the pavement because I take the tea everywhere. Um, so no, I'm not flustered. I've got my tea. I'm on MV Alfred. I'm quite happy. I'm going to take a wee tour of the vessel as well in a minute. I'll show you around. Um, I'll just get my stuff together here. Sweater, camera. Now I can't say I actually know which direction I'm getting off here. <laughs> anyway, right. I'll have a wee wander off this deck, go up and find the passenger lounge and things, and then I'll turn the camera back on. Cheers. Dave the Rave, Roving the Rock, and beyond, over and out.